Okay, so now on the show, I want to take a look at a film that I feel is one of the best movies of this year. Um, it is a film that has been directed by comedian Gerard Carmichael, who um, is an award-winning comedian, and uh, this time around, he actually steps into both the director and the actor's um, chairs for this one. Um, he hasn't actually done a feature film before, so this is a first, but let me just say, I think this is a guy that we are going to be hearing a lot more about over the next few years. The film is called On the Count of Three, and in the film, um, Jared Carmichael himself plays uh, Val. Now, he goes to visit a friend of his, a friend that he's had for his entire life, called Kevin, played by Christopher Abbott, in a mental facility. Christopher, uh, Kevin, sorry, tried to take his own life a few days earlier. Um, and now he's trying to get out of the center, but the doctor and nurses are not having any of it. Now, Val helps Kevin to escape. And together, the two of them decide that they are going to commit suicide. Yes, it's a, a dark kind of film, but there is comedy in there as well. But uh, as they're about to do it, they decide that they want to have one last day together. Well, more importantly, Kevin decides that for Val. Now, they decide to go around to places that uh, mean a lot to them um, in their lives. But we soon learn that Val has a secret um, for why he wants to kill himself. Um, at the ori Originally, at the start of the film, you think it's just because of his mundane job. Um and even though he gets a, an offer for a, a bit of a, a raise there, you can tell it's not something that he wants to be doing. Um, this is a film that, that that is pretty dark, but it, it explores a topic that is rarely looked at um, in films. Quite often when suicide is talked about in films, it's, um, it's kind of treated almost as... A taboo subject. Um, it's skirted around or it's normally the result of a suicide that we see in a film and it's the aftermath of it that the film then tells the story of. This is a film about two guys that are in the process of wanting to commit suicide. Now, th this is brilliantly um, written. The screenplay is written by Ari Katcher and Ryan Welsh and it is an absolutely amazing black comedy um, is probably the best way to put it. There are so many th things that happen during this film that will make you laugh, but it is also a film that is very dramatic. There are a lot of moments in this film where people will sit down and reflect as well. What I love about this film, though, is the acting performances of both Jared Carmichael and Christopher Abbott. They do an amazing job in mixing up the comedy and the drama in this film, but... Carmichael has this really unique way of directing this film as well, where you don't feel like you're watching a comedy. Like, there are moments that make you laugh, but he has this style as a filmmaker to make it feel like you are watching a, a deeply poignant movie, which you are, um, which just has a little bit of comedy put in there as well. Um, this is an absolutely brilliant film. It's one of the best films I think I've seen this year. It's one of those films that I cannot wait to be able to sit down and watch again um, because I just think it's stunning. I've spent the last couple of days going around and telling friends, you, you need to watch this film. This film is um, absolutely fantastic. Now, it's got other appearances in there from people like Tiffany Haddish, um, Lavelle Crawford. I'm trying not to um, go into this too much to, to, to talk about um, spoilers, because if I give away other characters, there are spoils. Henry Winkler is in there as well as a, a character that you would never expect to see Henry Winkler play um, in a million years. And I take my hat off to him for playing that part because it is such a an important part to this film, but also a part that a lot of actors would see a stigma um, being attached to as well. But look, I just think this is an absolutely fantastic film. It's a film that you probably haven't seen much about in the press, but please go and see this film. It's so important. It is such a, a fantastic look at men's mental health, at what men go through. It looks at what can push somebody to suicide. 
Um, but also at the same time, it, it's a buddy film. Um, it will make you laugh. It will make you cry. I will warn you that right now. But this is one of the movies of the year and I'm giving it five stars.